This is another 2023 number challenge. We try to solve equation x squared minus 2023 y squared equal to 1 for integer solutions x and y here. Of course, this is what is called Pell's equation, where d here is an integer, long square integer here. And back in the days, people figured out this equation would have a solution. Okay, of course, sometimes we factor this in this form. And you notice that when x equal to 1, y equal to 0, obviously that satisfies the equation, so we always have 1, 0 as the trivial solution. Of course, we're interested in non-trivial ones. Alright, so people figured out that as long as d is not a square, then the equation has a non-trivial solution. Not only that, people figured out that for the solution, that is smallest in terms of the magnitude of x0, y0, we call it the fundamental solution. Yeah, here we assume x, y a positive number, right? The sign doesn't really matter because you square it. Now, further, other solution is related to this solution by this relation here. You know, if you expand this for the case power, and you know, k equal to 2, 3, so on and so forth for the integers, and then you combine the integers and then x the integer part would be x and the coefficient of square root of d would be y and then that x k y k would be solutions also so we have infinite many solutions okay so it turns out that a common way of solving this is use what is called continued fraction earlier we have another video on approximating 2023 20, all right so square root of d because this is non square d is non square so square root of d would be irrational number so we try to have rational approximation with continued fraction for square root of d now you can check the other video for the details now we did calculate square root of 2023 20, with continued fraction. Now in review, a continued fraction is in this format where a0, b0 are sometimes integers, sometimes could be complex numbers, but in this case we're interested in what is called a simple continued fraction where all the b1, b2, b3 are 1, integer 1. Okay, So bi equal 1, that would be a simple continued fraction in this format, and the shorthand notation would be use a0, the integer part, a1, a2, a3 here. Now all this is integer greater than 1. All right. So we use this shorthand notation. For example, square root of 19 would be this. And notice that uh, there's going to be a um, repeating pattern here. 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 8. And 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 8. So it will be the case for all the square root. Okay. So, in terms of the square root of 2023, 20, earlier in the previous video, we figured out that the integer part will be 44 plus some fraction because we want to use simple fraction. So, we want to express this fraction part is like 1 over something. We we'll change it to a fraction and then we want to flip over, you know, for the, um, for the fraction. We continue the process and then get this uh, you know, flip over thing get an integer, and then eventually square root of 2023 20, is repeating again. The integer 44, and then the fraction part is going to be 1, 43, 1, 88, and then the repeating 1, 43, 1, 88, and goes on forever, right? For example, when we take maybe approximation of it, right, taking this part, we're going to have a, a fraction that's really close to the true value of square root 2023. 20, all right, so this is another, you know, with more precisions here. Okay, anyway, so what we do here is when we look at the approximation of the fraction here, when we take up to 1 here, you know, we notice that uh, this x squared, this x, this is y, x squared minus 20 to the y squared becomes, you know, 1 at this point. You know, it's negative 87, 2, negative 87, 1. Like 87. Now, so that means 2024 20, and 45 
exactly a solution to the equation. That's called a fundamental solution, right? Because that's x, y would be smallest in the absolute value, right? So 2024, 45 is a fundamental solution. And if we continue the process with more, you know, integer here with 88, for example, and with further 1 and 43, and then 88, now notice that when you go to this one here, you're going to have another solution. Let's try that. So it turned out that if you have 1 here, this value is going to be 2. This value is x squared minus 20 to 20 y squared. Notice that this is also in a repeating pattern here. So this is 1. Okay. So every every 4, you're going to have a solution here. So in other words, the next solution is going to be x equal a19351 and y equal 182160. So next solution. Now earlier, we learned that all solution is related to the fundamental solution by that equation, right? So how about this? We have two solutions here. We have this fundamental solution and then we have like solution. How are they related? Now remember we say that uh, fundamental solution, if you square it, right, you expand it out, what you get is a square plus b square, this is 45 square times 2023, 20, plus 2ab. And then you combine the terms, you're going to get this. Indeed, the coefficient here is, is the second solution. All right. So that means all the solution is going to be related to fundamental solution by this power. You know, you raise to this power and then you combine the coefficient. The energy coefficient is going to be the solution. There are infinite many of them. All right. That's good. We solve the problem. Okay. However, before we close the video, I would like to introduce another method. Okay. This is a mathematician in India. Okay, so Brahmagupta's identity is going to be very useful in solving Pell's equation. And actually, this guy solved some of the famous um, equation, like for example, when d equals 61 and when d equals 92. It turns out that the fundamental solution is very big. Okay, you can check it out, you know, from the Wikipedia or or the Google page. Yeah, when d equals 61 and when d equals 92. I'll try to solve that. In our case, of course, d equal 2023. 20, so this solution, this is called identity. You can just uh, ex express this and verify the algebra. But uh, what we have here is we're going to try to solve the equation. But we notice that uh, when we have 45 and 1, when x equals 45, y equals 1. And this, of course, does not equal to 1, but equal to 2. Now, how can we use that? And we're going to use this identity here, the fact that x equal 41, y equal 1, this, equ this expression equal to 2, right? So we plug in x, y, and a, b the same as 41, 45, and 1 into this equation, and d is 2023. 20, so we plug in the number here. These two terms are the same because x, x and y equal a and b, right? So this left hand side is going to be something square, this is square, and the right hand side is going to be this new terms here, yeah, square plus 2023 20, plus this square. Okay, notice that the value here is 2, right? Because notice that we have, we, we, we figured out that this is equal to 2. Yeah, 40, 45 square is 2025 20, minus 2023, 20, that would be 2. So this will be 4, right? 4 equal, you know, this square, right? And of course, now notice that uh, for this equation, we're going to divide 4 on both sides. This becomes 1, and this becomes, because since it's square, it's going to become divided by 2, and this will be divided by 2 also. It becomes 45. This becomes 20, 24. So what we get is this. So magically, using this identity, starting from this equation, we have found a fundamental solution to the original equation here. So we found 20, 24, and 45, which is the same as we did in the continued fraction approach. Okay, in this approach, I think it may be easier in the algebra, uh, but of course, um, you may not be able to do this for some other value of d. Here, d 2023, you can do it, and d equal 92, you can try it, and I think I did that, it also worked. Okay, so basically, what we have shown here is two different methods of figuring out the fundamental solution uh, the Pell's equations when d equal 2023, and from there you can derive other solutions. Okay, hope 
you follow the steps, notice that I do have a bunch of other 23 number challenges. I think those problems are quite interesting and uh, it's quite advanced in some cases. Do check them out in the video description you know, uh, for the link. In the meantime, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.